All right, guys, it's Nick with NK Landscaping, again, as usual. So last week you would have saw part two, if you're not uh, new to the channel, if you are, how's it going? Um, this is gonna be part three. So this is gonna be doing the rock installation around the pool. So we're gonna be installing 20 yards of red um, decorative stone around the pool. So there was already red stone in there. It's getting completely top coated and in some areas we're actually going to be putting down fabric to keep the weeds from going through areas that uh, the rock has really eroded over the years or gotten pushed down into the soil so i kind of split this whole project up into multiple videos so i'm giving you a future intro here but let's put you right into the uh, action of everything and uh get you going all right we're out front now we got our pile of redstone so the first thing that needs to happen is this redstone needs to go all the way to that uh, lowest wall. So here's first level, the pool is on another level, that wall is below that. So we do have a ramp over there that we're going to lay down on the stairs to get to the pool level. But for now, Fitz is actually going to have to go all the way around the house. So this is going to take the longest time to get that lower garden done, but it is the smallest one. So get you set up we'll scoop him and this is just gonna be a really long process unfortunately uh, not a whole lot that I can film it's just me filling him up and then I gotta wait for him to make that whole journey dump this thing Right, so I'd say we've got, I don't know, including that one, maybe two to three more yard max loads to go to finish this garden. Or not including that one, two to three more. But Kurt and Danny have been tarping their way through the pool area here. You've probably seen on time lapse us filling this up. So. It's a, it's a good amount of rock in there. I know it's probably gonna be a little, ow, ow. It's gonna be a little tricky for you to see just cause it's dark, but a little bit more to go. So 
That shouldn't take too long. We're gonna head out after that because it's already. What time is it? It's already four o'clock. But well, we got a really late start today because Kurt had that DOT physical, so we just kind of postponed everybody showing up a little later. So we figured work a little later. So we'll get this done here. Call it a day. That is probably the. I wouldn't say hardest, but the, I don't know, it's the most uh, not labor intensive either. It's just tricky, I guess, because he's got to go around the house um, versus this. He can just come from the pile right there. It's a much shorter distance, you know. We're not very far from the pile right now. It's just to get to this, you have to go around the house. So he's got to take a trip every time. But Fitz is uh, doing a great job piloting the yard max. And the other guys are doing a great job prepping the pool. So, yeah, if you've uh, never seen these yard maxes or looked into them, um, ah, ah, he hit the wall again. No, he got it. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're not built the best. It's a Chinese company, um, but I mean, and on it, it works. It works. So, we'll get this dumped. More loads. More Gotta walk up the slide. So believe it or not, this house, it's one of the guys that goes to our church. So that's why he hired us, but I've gone down that slide before. Probably 10, at least 10 years ago, probably 14 years ago. He threw a big party here. But anyway, let me get these last couple loads done. Uh, we're all getting pretty tired. All right, well that's a wrap on day three. We just gotta clean everything up. I think we're taking the dump trailer home tonight. We might dump out the mulch uh, on the other side of the construction trailer there. But everybody's just packing up. We got that bottom section done, that's huge. And then tomorrow we're gonna start working in here. Uh, we'll probably start down by the pool because we're gonna have to set up the ramp and everything. Uh, get that done. Shouldn't be too hard. But good, good progress. Glad that we have the yard max and all these guys. So, all right, guys. See you tomorrow. Back on site. It's a chilly day today. I think it's only gonna get up to 40. And it's like 30 right now. These guys are getting ready. We got a new, uh, new toy today. Kurt, Kurt wanted a microwave, so. We got Kurt a nice microwave, <laughs> the lunch machine. So we're gonna get started. Um, me and Fitz are gonna move rock into the pool area. And Kurt and Danny are gonna start prepping this front front bed. Uh, that was an addition to the project. Uh, so we're gonna be mulching that. And that's good for now until we get plants. Yeah, so I'll try to see what footage I can get. I mean, you guys have kind of seen it. There's nothing really new or special going on, so I'll get what I can get today, and maybe when we do something else different, I'll uh, film that too. Yeah. All right, so that bottom bed is done. I'm having Fitz back his way through here, just because I want to try to eliminate turning around on the, these stones, because they're not exactly the uh, nicest right now. He is going to have those fixed. And then we have to go down the ramp of doom. So I'm actually going to take it down the ramp for fits these first couple times, but basically to get to this bed, and I don't know if there's one over here. Oh, there is one over here. So to get to that one and this one, we're going to have to come down this ramp. And that's, I don't know, that's probably five foot in height. Our ramp is barely long enough. So I'll have Fitz film me taking it down. I don't want to have him go down the first time. I want to make sure everything works good. And if it works good, we will uh, we'll start in here. So I'll hand Fitz the camera once he comes over and we'll, uh, we'll watch this, uh, you know, we'll figure it out.
so probably saw that just happen that was interesting it worked so here it's like our corner this is the corner probably come like right here If you've ever used a belt drive like Skag lawnmower or similar, this kind of drives similar to that. There's a clutch, so that's the go or stop, and then you have a left brake and a right brake to turn left or right. So there's no real like slight turn. It's either left track locked up or right track locked up. So a little tricky, but get him to the edge. A little more. Okay. So it's probably gonna take, I don't know, four of these loads, I'd say. So we'll keep hammering these down in here. I'll probably have them dump a few loads and then we'll uh, we'll rake it out. So I'll bring you back in a minute. So I know I talked about the yard max yesterday and how we were going around the house and that's not where it shines. It's not a long distance movement vehicle. It shines in things like this. There's, you know, without doing this by hand and wheelbarrowing and, you know, imagine if you had to load a wheelbarrow to less than half capacity and two guys had to carry it down these stairs. Um, yeah, you could have, you know, six guys, but we're doing this with two guys, and um, it just works. You can get a wheelbarrow and a half at least per load. So, we're working on that bed, and, you know, I'll try to get a cool video of it coming down the stairs, because it, it does, the video never does anything justice, but it's working great. So if you're wondering what that 2x6 is for, if you see that skid plate down there, that is the lowest hanging portion of this machine. So in a case like this, that would be the first thing to hit the ground and it would scrape up the rock. So we just throw the 2x6 down and it allows it to just skate right across the rock with no damage to the machine or the pool patio. So a little bit of forward thinking, but you can see skid plate hangs down pretty low um, but it's there for a reason it protects the transmission so Kurt and Fitz are finishing up a little bit more down there and I'm real quick uh, while they're finishing that I'm running some wheelbarrow loads they're going uh, right off the corner of that deck we're just dumping down into that lower area so making some good progress now
So don't mind the yard max being super buzzy down there, but this is the last bed that we have to do on that level. This one is done. We actually did it from up top. This one needs just a little more. And then we'll go full around in the pool here, pool area behind that. Uh, kind of wrap stuff around that rock a little bit. So we're making really good progress now. Um, now that we're out of that, you know, long travel zone, I think this needs to be tarped a little more down through here. But yeah, you can kind of see wraps up up through here into that tree area around this bush so i'd say three more loads down on the bottom there and then uh then it'll really start going fast because kurt's gotta you know drive up and down these stairs kurt has switched over now kurt is the new uh yard max operator well it's lunch time now i'll show you what we got done in a minute but kurt's testing out his new microwave here. Oh, look at that. Generator seems to, it, it's doing it. I don't think it loves it. This generator, the screen is broken, so I can't even tell you how many watts it's drawing. And that says it's only 800 watts, so who knows. Lunch. Yeah, it's lunch time. So what's on the menu here today, Kurt? What was that? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich, huh? Looks like uh, you know your clock's off there. No, that's lunch time. It's that always lunch, it's time. lunch. It's always lunch time. Okay. That's how we do it. Right now. All right. Have to bring a plate. No plate. Okay. We're just gonna, you know, put it right on the glass, huh? Yeah. Well, you're gonna be the one that cleans it, so. Okay. All right. What are you gonna do here? I'm gonna, uh, 30 seconds, so he's two cranking minutes. up, two minutes. Mmm, chicken. Well, just like the power horse, we'll have to give a uh, long-term review after mm -hmm. this season's over. Yeah. And see how you like your galons. $80. Yep. Yeah. This was the cheapest one, it came pre-dented for us. And it's tiny. Fits. It is tiny. It fits on the go. It's fashionable. Yeah. Alright, let's eat some lunch. I'm not taking if those there was risks. one of us that came up with that idea, yeah. and looking at us like, what are you guys doing? That's what I'm saying. That's how you do it. Yard next, do it all. Alright, 
I haven't filmed in a while. I know Kurt may have taken some video. We've just been busting our butts. So, um, almost 100% of the pool is done with the rock. We literally just have to do from this walkway right here to the house. So we just spent the last like hour digging out all the walkway stones because they were just buried. Um, half of those like we didn't even know were there. So we were taking yard max load after yard max load and we actually ended up dumping a lot of it back behind this island right here. Um, that's where the client wanted some of it. We couldn't fit all of it back there, but uh, now we're at the point where it's just time to spread this last little bit of stone and then we are going to I have a pretty dark, gnarly headache um, from using the uh, sweeper right there. It's very loud and it's very uh, stinky, two stroke stinky. So we're looking into getting an electric uh, combi head one of these days. I think that would be one of the best tools to use it on. So let me load up this yard max a few times um, and we'll get ready to get out of here. I'm ready to go home. All right, I'll see you in a little bit.
every camera I own and operate is dying at 33% because of the cold. But anyway, you may or may not have seen me use the flappy paddle to clean up the pile here. This is all that's left. Kurt, are we done in there? Uh, we didn't do it. Didn't do in there, so we got to do in here. And then just touch up uh, using the last bit of this. There's probably uh, a yard, yard and a half left. So tomorrow in the morning, we'll finish up in there. That'll go real quick. We're going to bring another 12 yards of mulch with us tomorrow uh, and get started mulching back there. We were supposed to bring it today, but we were all kind of in a conversation and I passed the exit for Kent, the mulch place. And once you pass their exit, there's no other exits until we get off, get on 684 to come down here. So it didn't make sense to turn around. We didn't need it today anyway. So we're just packing up. Danny's cleaning up. Um, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. So, all right guys. I'm tired, I'm shot, ready to go home. All right guys, that's a wrap on part three. So you saw all the red rocks go down. Well, you didn't see all the red rocks go down. We're missing that uh, small portion in the AC unit enclosure. So that's just gonna get wrapped into part four. Uh, you guys spoke, you said you liked the uh, more frequent videos. Um, I don't know if I can promise two videos a week uh, all the time, but at least for this project, I'm gonna try for those two videos a week just to get through it. Like I said, there are 10 total days of job footage. And it's looking like we're getting about a video per day. So the next video is gonna be part four. Uh, it'll show the finishing of that little rock section. And I think we're on to mulching, so. Uh, Thanks for commenting. You know, you're still welcome to comment down there how you feel about these videos or what you think or what you like. Um, the comments do help me out. I know I can't please everybody, but to see what the masses enjoy is nice. So, um, yeah, that was part three. So I'll see you on the next one. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, you don't have to either. Uh, you know how I feel about it. Um, so I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good rest of the day.